but at this time, we just think it's the best move for everyone to move on from Matt and let him take care of this situation and focus, you know, on 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 that. And so we're going to part ways there. Breaking news as we come in the air here at 11 o'clock. The Buffalo Bills have released punter Matt Ariza, general manager Brandon Bean, and head coach Sean McDermott made the announcement earlier tonight. This comes on the heels of allegations that Ariza gang raped a then 17-year-old girl last October in San Diego. For the latest on the Bills, we turn to News 4 Sports' Heather Prusak. Heather? Good evening, Jeff. Yes, yeah, since that lawsuit was filed two days ago, everything surrounding the Bills has been about what action the team will take, and it ended with them releasing Matt Ariza earlier tonight. Now, the Bills practiced earlier today at 4.30. Now, this is footage from a practice uh, earlier. Ariza was not there today. We were told by the team he was still on the roster. And then just before 8 o'clock, GM Brandon Bean said they had cut him. Now, the Bills knew about these allegations last month, which, of course, was before making the decision to keep Ariza and cut veteran Matt Hawk earlier this week. So I asked Bean basically what new information they found out from last month and talking with Ariza about the allegations to now and if they felt Ariza kept anything from them in that account. I mean, there was more than what we originally got from Catherine from her conversation, but and it was detailed out in in that whatever 11-page deal, but nothing changed from Matt's version of what he says transpired. But this again, Heather, was back to this is bigger than football, and let's just step back and you go handle this. That's what we thought was most important. Now, Catherine, being the bill's legal counsel, as mentioned there, the accuser's attorney, Dan Gillian, tells me he only had one phone call with the bill's legal counsel and communication ended there with him and the bills. That phone conversation took place back on August 1st. So again, a lot to unpack here, but what we know for certain is that Matt, Matt Ariza is no longer a member of the bills after the team cut him earlier tonight, just two days after that civil lawsuit was filed. Heather Prusak, News 4 Sports. Heather, thank you for that. Uh, Matt Ariza's attorney released this statement saying, quote, Matt is very upset and disappointed that his career with the Bills ended not because he played poorly, but because of false allegations leveled against him by a young lady and her attorney. I hope he is back in the NFL soon. He deserves to be as he is the hardest working 22 year old I know, end quote. And the accuser's lawyer had this to say, quote, the Buffalo Bills had no choice but to cut their young punter after so badly botching their response to our claim. They ignored us as though what I warned them would happen could be avoided if they just kept their heads in the sand. This is what enablers do, end quote. Now, Dan Gillian continues on, and you can find that full statement as well as Ariza's attorney statement on our website, wivb.com.